जय गुरुदेव जय गुरुदेव संगीता जानी दीदी विथ एस आज हमारे साथ संगीता संगीता जानी दीदी है और बहुत सारे लोग जो मुंबई में रहे हुए हैं या महाराष्ट्र में रहे हुए हैं उन सब की गुरु स्टोरीज में कहीं ना कहीं संगीता जानी दीदी का घर आता है <laughs> साल में मैं मैं 11 साल मुंबई में रहा हूं तो साल में जब मैं कॉलेज में था कम से कम पांच छह बार तो चार बार तो एटलीस्ट एक बार हुआ था गुरुदेव यूज टू कम टू संगीता दीदी हाउस एंड वी ऑल यूज टू गो देर एंड शी वॉज सच ए लवली होस्ट हाँ कभी हम लेट हो गए तो एक बार ऐसा होता हम लेट हो गए बट स्टिल शी एंड दैट हम अंदर आए खाना खा ले और गुरुदेव से मिले बहुत ही अच्छा अनुभव बहुत लोगों का बहुत सारे टीचर से सुनाई मिलता है कि यू नो व्हेन दे फर्स्ट मेट गुरुदेव जब संगीता जानी दीदी के घर पे गुरुदेव आए थे तो बहुत सारी आज की गुरु स्टोरीज बहुत सुंदर है 1992 से संगीता जानी दीदी एसोसिएटेड है आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग से और एक ही साल के अंदर शी वॉज टीचर एंड शी वॉज टीचिंग एडवांस कोर्सेस ऑल्सो तो uh, uh, कह सकते हैं कि फॉर मेनी ऑफ सीनियर टीचर्स शी सीनियर टीचर टू मेनी ऑफ द सीनियर टीचर्स दैट वी हर्ड हियर और जितने भी लोग देख रहे वन अभी ओ माय के 374 ऑल ऑफ यू हु आर वाचिंग दिस माय रिक्वेस्ट इज आप इस पोस्ट को अब कम से कम 10 व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप्स में शेयर कीजिए आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग के और uh, अगर आप फेसबुक पे देख रहे हो तो शेयर क्रिएट वॉच पार्टी शेयर स्टार्ट वॉच पार्टी ताकि ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोग इसको देख सके सो so, दीदी जब तक लोग आते हैं कैन वी एंड एंड आज का जो पूरा दिन है वो वी विल हैव सत्संग ब्यूटीफुल भजन सम नाइस डिवोशनल सॉन्ग्स वी हैव सारंग विथ अस टूडे हु इज गोइंग टू do all the singing nice bhajan sandhya with us hi sarang hey <laughs> oh he's ready with his guitar so it's going to be real celebrate the time the uh, 5 minute ka buffer time hota hai didi यूजुअली पांच मिनट का हम एक बफर टाइम देते ताकि सारे लोग जुड़ सके और सब इसको पोस्ट को शेयर करें और सारंग कैन सिंग अ भजन टिल देन दीदी एंड बिफोर मैं एक बताना चाहूंगा अगर आपने ये ऊपर दी हुई प्ले नहीं देखी हो टाइनी डॉट सी सी स्लैश गुरु स्टोरीज देखना आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग के सीनियर टीचर्स के इतने अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंसेस से गुरुदेव के साथ तो जाके देखना एंड सब्सक्राइब सो दैट यू गेट रेगुलर अपडेट्स एवरी डे नाइन नाइन थर्टी वी कम विथ लाइव सेशन विथ अवर आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग टीचर ओवर टू यू दीदी एंड सारंग so while we waiting we can listen to sarang he's sarang is so brilliant he sings so beautifully uh, sarang can you please start with a bhajan till everybody is getting blocked can't hear him no can we hear him No, no, Sarang, you are not audible suddenly. So this calmness uh, on Sarang? the you when they are looking at you. No, Sarang, we are not able to hear you. What did you change? No, Sarang, Sarang, we are not able to hear you. Hello. Sarang. Oh. 
we so need Didi to till uh, sarang is again getting can we start our chit chat okay so this, sure Didi, this is very informal ha to aaj ka platform bahut informal hai bahut sare indians bhi isko dekhte hai uh, और जब भी वेन यू जब आप हिंदी में बात करते हैं तो काफी सारे साउथ इंडिया के और दूसरे देशों से देखने वाले लोग दे पीपल हु आर वाचिंग इट फ्रॉम आउटसाइड कंट्रीज और साउथ पीपल फ्रॉम साउथ इंडिया दे स्टार्ट कमेंटिंग दीदी प्लीज स्पीक इन इंग्लिश वेन यू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश इट्स लाइक मोस्ट कोर्सेज वी टीच इट्स वेरी इनफॉर्मल प्लेटफॉर्म और आप लोग जो लोग भी इसको देख रहे हो व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन कमेंट सो दैट योर कमेंट कैन बी सीन हियर व्हाट यू वांट टू कमेंट यू कैन कमेंट सो विथ योर फोटो या सो दीदी 1992 में आपने आपका पहला कोर्स आई थिंक आई कांट रिमेंबर 92 और 93 वो आई बट आई इट्स इट्स नॉट क्लियर राइट नाउ टू मी बट वन ऑफ द टू या 92 और 93 दैट्स व्हेन आई हैड डन द कोर्स सो हाउ वाज द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ योर Of first course. Sorry, I'm not being able to hear How you. How you thinking. got pushed into art of? How did I get pushed? I didn't get pushed into art of living. That's what I'm hearing you say, yeah, because it's a breaking. How so, how you got pushed into art of living? How was the experience of your first course? I did not get pushed into art of living. Actually, um, I probably in the part of my life that. was uh, waiting for this to happen because i remember when i was really young my parents tell me that uh, when we were very young my brother and i would fight and when we would fight if my parents took my brother's side i would start crying and i would say i don't like being with you all you all take me back to god and then so they would ignore me initially and then i would keep crying because i wanted to go to god i wanted to take i wanted them to take me to god somehow so i would keep crying take me to god take me to god and then that became another problem the fight was forgotten and they like how do we take her to god <laughs> so that was something that you know always as a child related to god more than i related to anyone else and uh, maybe all children feel like that i don't know but i definitely felt that way and then um, you know like how you play with dolls it's not like i didn't play with dolls i played with dolls also but every sunday my grandmother would take me to the mandir she take me to a temple and i would make her buy me little murtis and little frames and you know and i would play mandir mandir so i would always have a mandir so just how you have a doll house with dolls like that i had a mandir with my entire and i would play right so i was a pujari i was playing with god so this is something i always remember doing and um, then you know you just grow up and you, you you kind of you try to fit in with everyone you, you think that you know how everyone else is is a correct way to be so i you know you, i think everyone does it everyone goes through that struggle maybe i'm not so sure about everyone but i know i went through it and um, then later at one point um, It's, i just became a regular bombay girl right so i was remember i remember one day i was looking in the mirror i was getting ready i was wearing mascara and i was looking in the mirror and i was all ready to go out for the evening and suddenly i'm looking at this beautiful face in the mirror and i'm saying wow what a beautiful face god has made and i wonder who put me in this face in this body so at that moment i'm looking at the face as separate from me the whole body is separate from me and i'm appreciating it like uh, like it is god's creation and i have nothing to do with it right so and then suddenly i said but what am i doing in this body why have i been in this body who put me in this body and what is the purpose it's not to do what everyone else is that that realization came that there was another purpose other than doing what everyone else is doing just running around and you know it was like i i saw the futility in in chasing nothing in chasing what the world was chasing and i knew i had a purpose I, I, and you know i said so i said but i don't know my purpose so whoever you are who created me i just looked up like that and i said it aloud i said manifest somehow 
because I need to know. I suddenly felt like that rug had been pulled from under my feet. And I really needed that answer. I really needed someone to hold my hand and say, yeah, I am there, you know. So I'll guide you. I'll, but I, I like, who's going to do that? You know, God is in the sky. And there are no gurus in today's day and age. Uh, because, you know, the media had always told me from whatever I had heard from the media, that all the gurus are fake. So oh, there are no gurus were only in Ram's time. They're not there now. And God is in the sky. So who's going to tell me? Who's going to hold my hand? So I said, whoever you are, I know you're listening. So either you manifest or you sit inside of me and act through me. This was my prayer at that time. Cut to in a few days, in just about a week's time, some old acquaintance calls and says, there is someone who's coming from Bangalore and she's going to be teaching this real nice breathing technique. And can she stay with you? I said, yeah, sure. Welcome. You know, so in walks my teacher, uh, Rashri Patel. And uh, so at her end, the story was that when this prayer came up in my heart, Gurudev was in Bangalore and she was in Bangalore. So Gurudev tells her, go to Bombay and teach a course. And she says, but there are riots going on in Bombay. You know, I, there is like that time the Hindu Muslim riots were going. So she's saying there are riots going on in Bombay and there is no place for me to stay. There's no course organized. Why are you sending me to Bombay? He says, go to Bombay, drink plenty of coconut water. And she, she says, coconut water? <laughs> He's sending me the middle of riots to drink coconut water. And then she says that when she came, you know, she came to Bombay, she saw me and she knew why Gurudev sent her. And for some strange reason, every hour on the hour, I would keep offering her coconut water. So that was the story. So I did the basic course at that time. And uh, so the basic course was nice. It was fine. Um, I did not have any great experience. It was no earth chattering. I did the Kriya. Okay, fine. Everything was okay. I, you know, I, I, I didn't even continue doing the Kriya after that. But she said that there was an advanced course in Rishikesh. And the thought of Rishikesh felt so romantic to me. You know, just that, that Ganga ji, and you know, just I just heard about it. And I'm like, it would be so nice to just go and sit with your eyes closed over there. So uh, I have signed up. I have gone for the, I signed up for the advanced course, which was to happen a week later. And um, so I go to Rishikesh. And the day I was to land in, uh, in Delhi to go to Rishikesh, there, the previous night there was a bomb scare at the Delhi airport. So there were a few people sitting around uh, Gurudev in Delhi and saying, you know, and, I, and that time that was the first course apparently in Rishikesh. Um, I, they say that there were about 40 to 60 people, something from all over. It was a real small course. It, at that time, Art of Living was still in its budding stages. So it was really small. And uh, so they were sitting around Gurudev and saying, oh, some girl is coming from Bombay. Now, I don't know. She's coming. You know, flights are getting canceled. So they say that, you know, he looked up like that and he said, Kaun aara hai Bombay se? And they said, hey, koi Sangeeta Jani karke koi ladki. And they say that he said, ha ha. Um, and there's Ankush Dada, uh, who's our, who's a very senior advanced course teacher. I'm sure most of you know him. Uh, so Ankush Dada was there and he says, Ankush, no airport zarur jana. Chahe kisi aur ki flight aaye ki nahi, is ladki ki flight to zarur aayegi. So that's how he came to the airport. And when then everyone was sitting at uh, at a train station and everyone was to meet gather there. And that time, Gurudev, we had a Maruti 800. And Gurudev, Gurudev was sitting in that Maruti 800. That, that was like the, the most posh car we had in Art of Living at that time. So he was sitting there in that car. And I came from really far. And my teacher tells uh, Gurudev, Gurudev, my friend Sangeeta is here. And he put one foot out of the car. He turned around. He looked at me and says, Aave tum. And at the moment I saw him, I just froze. Meaning I, the heart recognized him from lifetimes. You know, my the first feeling I got was, oh my God, I have known him for lifetimes, meaning I have known him always. There's never been a time I've not known him. That's how I recognized him. 
And I said, oh my God, it's him I have been seeking all my life. You know, in all my relationships, I have only been seeking him. And I didn't know that. So I just froze and I said, it's him. I've been seeking him. But all that was just, it was all in a fraction of a second. Like, you know, it's not like the whole Bhagavad Gita. It's not, it's not like Krishna sat there and everyone stopped war and everyone was listening to Krishna giving the, it, it was a realization, you know, it, that, that whole, all that knowledge was more a realization. So like that, it, it was like, a, like all this just happened in a fraction of a second, that entire realization. And I, the first thought that came to my head was, if I'm ever going to see God in a human form, then this is it. This is my feeling, my thought, you know. I said, this is it. And while I'm thinking all this, it's just like tears, 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 tears. I'm not thinking it in my head. I was feeling it in my heart. And, uh, you know, and that was it. And I couldn't go close to him because I was experiencing all these sensations all over. So I didn't go close to him. And then there was another bus. So I just got into that bus where everyone was. And Gurudev, uh, so we, they were waiting. I was the last person. So the car went and then we went together. And then there was one place on the way to uh, Rishikesh where we stopped. Uh, we stopped the uh, over there, you know, for, took a break over there. And meaning I was experiencing all these sensations and I was so attracted, meaning I couldn't, I was like, something was happening, meaning I just, I was so attracted to him, but I couldn't go close to him because I was feeling things I didn't know. So I would look at him, I would go close to him, and then I just look at him from the corner of my eye like that. And every time I'd look at him, he'd be looking at me with big eyes. So I'd quickly look away because it did things to me. You know? And then we reached Rishikesh. I reached Rishikesh and I was I got my room. I went to my room and uh, I knew where it was just a few of us, right? So everyone knew where everyone was staying. So I knew where Gurudev's kutir was the main kutir. It was on the first floor, right in the center. So I put my bags there and I, I don't know. My, my legs would not listen to my head. My head kept saying, you have to be well-mannered. You have to be in your room. When you're called, you must go there. But my feet kept walking towards his room because my I couldn't stop myself from going towards it. Everyone, I'm sure, has experienced that. Everyone who has met him has, has experienced that, you know, your feet don't listen to you. They just keep running towards, towards Ganga, towards where he is. But my feet kept going and my head kept saying, you shouldn't be doing this. You know, you really should wait till you're invited to his room. You shouldn't go. You shouldn't go. My feet wouldn't listen. They kept going. And then it was on the first floor. So I took one step up, second step up, third step. And then there was one point from where I knew the door was open and he would be able to see me if I, you know, took another step. So I just stopped. I didn't want him to see me. I didn't want him to think that. And then suddenly I hear him say, Sangeeta. Sangeeta, ajao. And I was like, dur, 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 dur. and I went in and I'm like, you know, if, if you want me to leave, I can leave. Just just tell me I, I can go. You know, I'm sorry I've come. Said, no, no, sit, sit, sit here. So I sat there and uh, and then he started talking. And then I was like, you know, Gurudev, I didn't call him Gurudev in those days. I, I, we call him Guruji, Guruji. You know, uh, I uh, when I see you, I experience all these things. What is it? And so then he just smiled and I'm like, no, uh, but you have to tell me, are you my guru? Because I don't know if you are, you have to tell me. So he says, oh, I'm no one's guru, I'm no one's shishya. But that kind of knowledge I didn't understand at that time. I was just this one kid who, you know, who I wanted answers. So I was like, no, no, you have to tell me because, you know, when I see you, I feel all these things. And uh, from what I have heard, all gurus are fakes. So only you can tell me whether you're real or not. So heart trusted him so fully. I just wanted, I, I wanted to hear it from him. But the head questioned it, you know. But the heart, meaning I had no doubt. My heart had no doubt. But the head now and then would say, but gurus are meant to be fakes, you know. So, but the heart just knew it, you know. And yeah, that's how I met him. Then that was like the best, best 
ever five, six, and I don't know how many days. I think I was there for seven days or something like that. Best few days of my life ever. I did not know it was possible. So much joy, so much love was possible. I did not know that it even existed. And then when it was time to leave, I started crying. I said, I don't want to go. I said, but you have to go. I said, but if I go, you will forget me and I will lose this feeling. And that is when he told me, he says, look, don't you get it yet? He said, do you think your coming here was an accident? Do you think the past two months of your life were an accident? And that's when I froze. Because I said, it's been exactly two months since that thought came in my mind that, you know, when I when I was looking in the mirror and wearing that mascara, and I said, it's two months, and how does he know? So, you know, it, like, I, so that's when I said, I said, okay, he knows. He, he has something to do with it. And he says, you're coming here is not an act. He said, from today, if you never, ever see me ever again, whatever you, is needed whenever will come to you. But I had no experience of him. I had no experience of these things. All I knew was finally I had found him and I wasn't willing to leave just like that, right? So I said, um, you give me some work to do. If you give me work, you'll have to remember me. So he says, Jao, Gyan Bato. I said, Gyan Bato, I don't know any Gyan. I know nothing. You know, I've come here seeking. I don't know anything. I thought he was just trying to get rid of me. So I went. And I came back to Bombay and then I would have so many questions coming up in my head day after day. And I would write. In those days, we didn't have emails and we, there was no internet and there was no texting and there was no cell phones. So we used to write letters. And the letter was like, I would have all these questions, 10, 10 page letters I would write. And I would just, it would be there on my, my table. And, uh, you know, the same people who earlier would come and ask me mundane things, my friends, they would come and ask me questions that were in my letter to him, which has not been mailed, which is still lying on my desk. They would come and ask me that question. And without a second thought, meaning without any thought, the words would just fly out of my mouth and I would give them the answer. I said, wait a minute, how is this happening? It's my question. I'm asking him, how am I answering it? And that's exactly, if you ask any teacher, that's exactly what has, till today, that's what happens. I haven't even been trained really to be a teacher. You know, uh, when it was time to leave Rishikesh, and then I said, okay, so you will call me when it's time to meet you next. And he said, tum to aa rahi ho na, agle so, it, so that meant that, yeah, next month I had to go to Bangalore. So next, very next month I went to Bangalore after having met him. I went and, ah, uh, see, for me, I met him and that was it. It was full stop. I had found everything in the world. I didn't want even a pin after that. I didn't want anything. I had just found him and that was it. That was it. I, there was nothing. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want anything. I just, it was nothing. I had, I had everything. That was it, you know. So I reached Bangalore Ashram and I'm just there and I'm like completely in that space of bliss. And, and I had signed up for an advanced course, but I was not doing anything. Right? I was just very blissed out. And in those days, I, there were like eight people living on the ashram and probably a few more had come to do the course, the advanced course. So there's hardly anyone there. There were no, uh, you didn't have to make an appointment to meet Guru Dev. His door was always open and you could just walk in and out of his kutir any time. I mean, it was just a few people. It was like family. We were friends. He was my best friend that is who he was to me in those days and uh, so uh, you know uh, what was I saying I said yeah so that's what I was doing and that is when he was experimenting with uh, something called a teacher's training program and uh, so a lot of our not a lot but some of our senior who were seniors today they were all there in that batch and we we're just a handful of people there were no more than that. It was an experiment. So he sent a message for me to go sit there. And I didn't really want to, I'm not interested in doing any of that. I was just so happy to be there and just be with him. And 
so he i said ah, but i'm doing the advanced course he says no i don't know karu he said it so casually so i just walked into the teacher's training class and i sat for a little while and i said so much better in his room this is no fun so i got up and i left and i went to his kutir and he says kaise laga kaise laga course as like na ne ne tum idhar hi baitho idhar hi baitho so then after that he didn't push me but now and then i would go to class uh, but he didn't push me to go to class after that you know he just made me sit do whatever if i wanted to be with him in his kutir he would let me sit there and uh, then when it was time to leave he gave me the creative and he also gave me a uh, a manual which wasn't really a manual it was just a few sheets of paper he gave gave me which weren't even printed they were handwritten and you know with drawings and all it was like that and he gave those to me and he said go teach and i said teach i don't know how to teach i mean i don't know anything so he says um तुम कहा सिखा रही हो मैं सिखा रहा हूं तुम सिर्फ जाओ एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट वॉज माई टी टी सी जस्ट दो वर्ड्स दैट वॉज माई टी टी सी दैट्स इट टिल टूडे द ओनली थिंग आई रिमेंबर इज दो वर्ड्स एंड द ओनली थिंग आई फॉलो एज अ टीचर आर दो वर्ड्स एंड that's how it's been for 28 years and i've done okay you know so i come back to bombay and i put that kriya tape in the drawer because i really don't know how to teach i knew there is a sudarshan kriya and i know but i don't know how to teach it i mean i know there is pranayam but i'm not so sure about the counts because i had not done it after that day so uh so then see for me i found him i was so immersed in him i cannot explain you know how it was it was just like i was like my whole everything was just him and uh, so then i was not interested in doing anything else you know see why would one do kriya why would one do any of those things because you want something you know you you want enlightenment you want peace of mind you want i didn't want anything i didn't even want enlightenment because it's like this no when your father has a mercedes you don't need to go buy another one you can drive it any time you want so just him being enlightened was enough for me i didn't need a separate enlightenment that was my state of mind at that time so just i was happy that he was enlightened and that was it so there's nothing so i put that kriya tape away but then um khushid ji khushid patli wala ji i can't call him baba he likes calling himself baba and everyone lovingly calls him baba so if you recognize him that way i will but um, he he was studying in iit at that time and he was also on that ttc and um, so he called me and he was young right so i had the kriya tape and uh, so he called me and he says uh, you know seven of my friends in iit they want to do the course so we you'll have to come and i had the kriya tape i had no choice i had to go so i went my heart was going like that 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 because they looked so intellectual when i walked in they were wearing glasses and they were like and i knew i i tins come on they they're going to ask me questions i won't understand let alone give answers so but so for two minutes i was that 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 but then after that there was i just evaporated somewhere i just disappeared and then like i could hear what i was saying and when i was speaking i was thinking wow this is so good i was understanding i was learning while i was speaking so there were seven boys and me the eighth participant in my own course until today it's like that as teachers uh, this this i'm thinking it is just so phenomenal how gurudev has created this whole thing he he has not waited till people get enlightened to make them teachers he says doesn't matter you go you just be be my instrument you just go and i will you you be like a flute i will blow through you you know it's like that so you don't have to be enlightened as long as when you're sitting there because he's teaching through you and you're learning when you teach 
And this is something I have so understood, you know, that the purpose of making a teacher, it's not because you're some great thing that he has made you a teacher. I so remember, you know, this takes me to another incident uh, a few years later, uh, where Art of Living was still, you know, people had just started finding out what Art of Living was, started hearing about it. And magazines and newspapers had just started getting interested in us. And uh, so that is when one of the teachers came and one day said, Guruji, there's a very bad article, very bad article in one of the newspapers. And he goes, huh, what have they written? Kya likha hai? He goes, I'm telling you something. So untouched. This master of ours is so, it is, I have seen this time and time again. After this, I'll tell you one more incident. No, but really this, this, um, this, he says, Kya likha ye uh, basic, so the uh, teacher says, basically they have said anyone can become a teacher. So he says, Haan, to, sahi to hai? As in anyone can become a teacher. You don't have to be special to be a teacher. It's his job to make you special. He makes you special, not even special. He makes you whatever he needs from you to be a teacher. So it's not that you have to have any qualities. You just have to be willing. That's it. And he works on you. And I think that is just so beautiful, you know. I think that's amazing. Now I don't know what to say. So Didi, you were telling once that you are not much into such things. <laughs> singing. You know, my singing. name is Sanita, but that's it. <laughs> I can't sing. You know, that's what happened. Someone uh, told Guruji that uh, you know, camel milk is very good for the voice. It, it gives you a good voice. So uh, Guruji said, huh, then you must give it to Sangeeta because it's a life's ambition to be able to sing. <laughs> so bad I am. <laughs> See, so I have no interest in it. <laughs> Go ahead. What do you think? So, so uh, you met Gurudev Dev so many times. You saw in the satsang during your initial times when you saw him in the satsang. I mean, it's so beautiful listening to you, Didi. Uh, it's like we are listening to a Bhagavatam, uh, truly. So, when you saw Gurudev in the satsang, where you still so you used to sit in the satsang to see him, or you used to skip the satsangs also in the beginning? You know, my first satsang, I have to tell you about this in Rishikesh. So it was my first satsang. And uh, so I didn't know that you had to attend everything. It's a sign of respect to be there. You know, I, I was clueless, right? So it was in the evening. And I'm thinking, oh, this is, the, this is my evening walk time. And I don't know, satsangs are not for old people. I'm not interested in all those things. I don't think I'm going to go there. But what had happened before that and earlier in the day was, you know, before I, I met Gurudev, before I did the art of cleaning, I had learned one course in pranic healing. And at that time, they taught us to check the aura. So I was just so impressed with myself and I, you know, wanted to go check everyone's auras. So even though I recognized Gurudev as in my heart, yeah, my I recognized him as God in my heart. Uh, but still, I said, aura, everyone has, right? So I said, I wonder what his aura is like. It must be huge. It must be so great. So I went to him. I said, uh, Gurudev, can I check your aura, please? So he says, Kaha, kaha dhundogi to mera aura. What do I know what that means? My first day with him, you know, my first step into spirituality. I don't know what that means. So he says, Ha, lekin dekho. So then he must have, you know, contained his aura, made it a little smaller or something. I don't know what he did so that I could check it. And then I was like, so maybe some people's aura is like one foot, one and a half foot. And his was five feet or something. So I was so impressed. And that was it, finished. So I was doing my evening walk and then satsang was going on. And then one thought came to my head. I said, I'm the only one walking here. Let me at least go see what they're doing there. They're doing some boring stuff. 
Let me just go and sit and see in the back. I'll see for two minutes and then come out again. So I have gone and sat right in the back. And I sat there and drank. I suddenly my eyes just shut and I was transported into a different world. And then my eyes are shut, but automatically they open. You know, there's something that's compelling them to open. They, you know, I, not in my control, it's just happening. Automatically they open like that. And I feel all this pressure in my head and this thing. And I see Gurudev over there. And I see this huge cloud, like this aura, which is huge. It's like from one end, like that, that hall was so big. And the aura was from one end of the room to the other end and up to the ceiling. It was huge, humongous, and it was bright and shining. I was like, wow. So you know when you say, wow, and then you, then you blink? The moment I blinked, gone. It was I never saw it after that. But he showed me that aura, you know, of his. So yeah, that was one experience I had. And Rishikesh, there was such a nice one experience once. What happened? Uh, there was one. I'm just, I'm just blabbering. I'm just talking. <laughs> um, but like these things are just coming to me, you know. So um, there was once. I mean, we we would go to Rishikesh every year, every year for one month. We would have four courses, four to five courses every year. We would have up to. Um, uh, Gudi Padva, we would be there. We would celebrate Gudi Padva and Rishikesh every year. This would happen. And uh, so all of us would go there and we would be there the entire time. So one of the years, uh, someone came when it went out of living, became a little bigger, meaning there were not 40 or 60 people, but there were probably two, 300 people over there. So one couple came and in satsang they sat and I saw Gurudev kept looking at them and then shutting his eyes, looking at them and shutting his eyes. Then after the singing was over and Gurudev would answer questions, he said, well, that lady got up and she's like very, very disturbed. And she goes, Gurudev, I have to ask you something. We come to you so why do we have so much sankat in our way? Our flat tire has been done, then this happened. Why do we have so much pain here? We are coming to you. So he just smiled and he looked down and he looked at them and he's saying, yes, the way to reach here is very difficult. But once we have come here, then we have to do it. I thought that was so powerful. It was just so powerful. It's not, you know, reaching a master, getting a master. Up to then, up to that point, till you meet a master, life feels very difficult. But once you are there, you know, with him, it's like it's like a soothing balm over you. It's just so soothing. To, like he's such a blessing, you know. It's such a blessing to have him, to be, you know, like, in, God knows how many times we've come to this planet, no? I mean, you know, and life is duality. There is joy, there is sorrow, it's difficult. We struggle. But, you know, when you, when you take a human body and he takes a human body at the same time, Greatest blessing, greatest blessing, I feel. I feel like that. Didi, you are not, everybody, uh, somebody is mentioning they missed a chance to do advanced course with you in Rushikesh. So for all of them who would like to again do course with uh, uh, Didi, so there is scroll going on. You can refer the scroll and you can attend the uh, course with Sangeeta Didi. Um, did you, when did you become an uh, advanced course teacher? How was that happening? So, <laughs> so you know, um, so I became a basic course teacher. Then I came back and I told you that IIT course was the first course. And then the second course was at RCF Colony where uh, someone uh, we knew, she had arranged a course of 60 people. Now, uh, and at that time, uh, Kushuti and myself, we were both there. 
and uh, so you know that time gurudev see there were no devotees at that time because first teacher so they were no they were like our team was so small they must have been like there was just other than us there was arun madhavan ji that's all you know so uh, there was no one so, so gurudev had come to bombay at that time and the course was going on so guru ji came to the course and he taught all the points in our basic course so my second basic course gurudev conducted half the course and then immediately after that he was going to gujarat so i wound up the course and i went to gujarat in those days i traveled with him wherever he went i went india abroad everywhere and uh, so we went to gujarat and uh, and yeah and uh, we went there and we went and uh, i think it was andabad those i can't i think it was andabad only and there was an advanced course going on over there and those days only gurudev used to teach there no one else used to teach the advanced course and uh, and there was no we didn't have any recordings of hollow and empty i think he would conduct the hollow and empties so he has told me to be there he says uh, तुम थोड़ा सिखा लो ये सेशन मैं होके आता हूँ आई डोंट इवन नो हाउ टू टीच अ बेसिक कोर्स आई हैव जस्ट फिगर इट आउट ऑन द कोर्स इट सेल्फ आई ओनली टॉट टू बेसिक कोर्सेज आउट ऑफ विच हाफ द सेकेंड कोर्स ही हैज टॉट एंड थर्ड कोर्स इज एन एडवांस कोर्स ही इज मेकिंग मी सिट देर एंड टेक अ सेशन इन द एडवांस कोर्स एंड सो आई जस्ट सेट देर एंड नॉट नोइंग वॉट टू डू एंड एन दिस इज वन जेंटलमैन एल्डरली जेंटलमैन ही सेज one whole shlok in sanskrit i don't even know the s of sanskrit i don't even know how to spell sanskrit and i am sitting there saying aapne ye shlok ka ye matlab nikala iska to ye nahi iska ye matlab hai i have given him the correct meaning of the shloka i was like what am i doing what am i saying so that was my experience that was a glimpse of uh, this thing and after that he just he kept training me to be you know whenever there were advanced courses i would be taking the sessions and um, he would do the hollow and empties and stuff like that and my whole training even for basic courses and for advanced course uh, you go to his kutir before every session before every process you go and he word for word he will say ja ke aise 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 bolo so he'll tell you the words and then he'll say kya bologi and then i would have to repeat it to him he'd say correct and then i would go down and blah 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 say exactly what he told me to say i would go down and say that that's how i that's that's how we were trained directly by him you know word for word till today i use the same words he had taught me 28 years ago i haven't changed anything from that and uh, so yeah so he was training me to you know become an advanced course teacher and all that and then this continued for a while and then one day we were in rishikesh i don't even know if i should say this i don't even know who else going to be watching this but i'm just going to say it because for some reason today i'm not stopping yeah, i'm not being able to stop so uh, so in, when we were in rishikesh and then he would make me sit in the hall all day and teach doll making and this and that and all that and while it was so beautiful outside ganga ji was right outside our ashram the mountains were so beautiful not only that when i was teaching the course downstairs i would and gurudev you could hear stuff that was going on in gurudev's room so gurudev would be sitting in his room and a bunch of all these other now our very senior teachers they would be sitting and they would be laughing and giggling with guru ji they were having fun and i had to sit down and i had to teach the course so i didn't know that teaching an advanced course was considered a good thing for me it felt like punishment because i wanted to be with him and i wanted to laugh and i wanted to have fun with him i didn't want to be sitting down teaching the course so i you know you know one very beautiful thing happened at that time um so this went on for you know like uh, for quite a while this went on where i wouldn't want to teach and then later you know i, I was i was rebellious you know i was very naughty gurudev i've given him a hard time like he really i was a tough nut to crack it wasn't easy like he's really had to work hard on me um 
So I went to his room one day and I said, Gurudev, I don't want to teach this. I can't imagine teaching this course for the rest of my life, sitting in a room from morning till evening teaching this course. And he says, and I said, I'm getting bored. He says, bored ho rahi ho kya? I said, ha, ho ja, bored ho ja. Tumhare ek ke bored hone se lakhon ka kalyan hota hai. Ho ja, bored ho ja. Mar jao. Jeete ji mar jao. So I, I knew that okay, it's time for me to keep quiet and leave. That's all I knew at that time. But then, actually, I, I want to move on to another story. I want to tell you in connection to this. So that didn't make any sense to me. But after many years, in the year 1999, he took me to Europe and America. And he left me in America with him. And that time, no, none of the other Indian teachers had ever been to teach in America. So uh, he left me there. And uh, he came back. And then he calls me one day. And he says, what is your plan? What do you want to do life? So I was like, I've just spent two months with you and you're asking me now, what do you want to do? I mean, I, I was confused that why is he calling me now and asking me? But that was probably the right time, you know, for because you never understand why he does what he does. He has a clear reason for doing anything, everything he does. So... Uh, I didn't have an answer for him, but when I hung up, I was thinking, okay, so my God, to me, he's God, right? I mean, whatever you make out of it is your thing, but to me, there is no, in my, that is who God is to me. So I'm saying divinity himself is asking me, what is it you want? I mean, who asks anyone? You just take what life gives you, right? I mean, you just make lemonade out of the lemons that come to your life. For me, that was not the question. But for me, he was asking me, do you want lemon or do you want orange? What do you want? So he's asking me, what do you want? And I said, what am I going to ask him? What, what am I going to ask for? A home, a car, a job, a husband, children? You don't need a guru for that. You don't need divinity to ask you these things. You know, uh, here, what is it that's worth asking? He has come into my life. I don't know after how many lifetimes. I don't know when he's coming next. I don't know when this yoga is going to happen, where he is going to give me an opportunity. He's going to ask me, make a decision. What do you want? I'm giving you the freedom to decide. So I said, what do I ask for? What is it that's worth asking for? Now is the time to only ask for that which will never perish. Anything else I ask for, it will leave when my body leaves. When I die, it will all go. What is it that's worth asking for? And then suddenly those words came back to my head. And I said, Gurudev, I get it now. I'm ready to die. From this moment onwards, let there be no Sangeeta. Let there be no presence of me. Let there be no person over here with all those personal things. You know, let this, let this just all be hollow and just use this body for your work. I'm blessed with the body. Use it for your work. Let every moment of my existence, every breath I take, let it only be for you, for whatever you want to use it, for whatever purpose it is. I don't know your purpose. Your purpose is large. That's all I know. You've come to this planet with a huge mission. I don't know what it is, but whatever part I can play, whatever you need me to do, whatever role you need me to play, use me. I am willing. That's all I want. And that's the only thing I asked for at that time. And from that day till now, besides that, I don't want anything. That is what I really, truly want. Everything else will come and go. That's okay. That's the nature of life. It doesn't even matter. You know? but yeah, I was answering one question. I got on to something else. But that's okay, I guess. Yeah? <laughs> <Thank you, Jay. laughs> 
Didi, I was talking to Tanuma a few days back, and she was mentioning an incident where you were advanced course teacher, and as you just mentioned, you were very rebellious and a naughty person who always wanted to, uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So you took them out for the rafting. Yeah. He was training me to be an advanced course teacher. I didn't want to be, and I, I was naughty. I was very, very rebellious and very, very naughty. So, yeah, we. I can't. I can't now. <laughs> I can't say the story right now. <laughs> we were naughty. Um, I don't want to be a bad example to all those. Who are watching? Who are going to be future advanced course teachers? I don't want to be a bad example to them, but uh, only listen to what I tell you. <laughs> don't do what I did. <laughs> Is that okay, Digi Jai Ji? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Please go on. We would love to hear that story. That one? No, I don't want to tell. <laughs> Acha, <laughs> so let me ask you. You, you were so independent, and you had your own uh, perception that you would want to do what you like to do, and still there was surrender. So, yeah. were there times when you fought with Guru Dev, or you argued, or you were trying to put your say in front of him, and then you got scolded, probably? In the soft. We met Guru Dev. Uh, you know the relationship we we shared. Also, it was a little different. Like I said, no, he was my best friend. Yeah, uh, there were different times. You know, it was very different. Art of living today is so busy, you know. It's so big. It's spread everywhere. In those days, it was still new, and uh, there was more time. And uh, he gave us a lot of personal grooming. And in those days, the need of the hour was that uh, he needed to befriend us, for us to listen to him, for us to be groomed by him. So we would spend the entire. He spent so many hours with us from morning till night. We were together only. It was and there was nothing like male, female. It wasn't like that, you know. It was. I mean, we were just friends. We were. We were. We were children. We were all. We were one family. All of us were one family, and he was the head of the family. It was like that. Um, and even though there was always tremendous respect, and even though we always recognize the divinity in him but at the same time there was a closeness there was such a sakha bhav there was so much closeness you know uh, and and an, like a, a casualness but with respect it was like that you know so um yeah so you know now and then at the thing was not it was not it was me my nature was like that i was rebellious so my nature was that no one tells me what to do. I do what I want to do, but you can't tell me what to do. It's my life, freedom. You know, it was like that 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 kind of a, an attitude. Um, so if I did not, if I was bored with the advanced course and I didn't want to teach and I wanted to go rafting because I'm in Rishikesh, I just wanted to go rafting. Uh, so. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Till today, I don't know what I was thinking. And uh, so I am the teacher of the course. But the thing is, I didn't understand I was the teacher of the course. I thought he is the teacher of the course. And he just sends me down because he wants to get rid of me. He sends me down to teach because he wants to get rid of me. And the rest of them are sitting in his kutir and they're all laughing and having fun. So I was seeing that as punishment. I was not seeing that as a responsibility or a good thing to do. So, um, so one day I decided I want to go rafting. I'm going to go rafting. So I had some other 
students who were keeping good silence in the course and uh, who I will not name them because you all know them. Um, so they were also in the course and I just put out there. I said, come on, let's go. Let's go rafting. Come on. And I took them rafting and we, I took them and we went rafting that day. I've left my course and Gurudev had to teach the rest of the course. And uh, that was like the wrongest thing to do. I mean, I, I'm so ashamed of, you know, what I did. That was really wrong what I did. But we just went and it was so hot that the sun was blazing. So I, in my head, I'm thinking ice cold water and the hot sun. Ah, ha, ha, perfect combination. But lo, we get into the raft and what happens? There is suddenly a huge cloud over our heads. And then while we raft, the cloud moves with us and it covers us. I have not said anything. When we came back, Gurudev said, so Gurudev was really angry with me. You know, I mean, that's when he had lost his patience. He was really, really angry. So he had one of our uh, Shashi Nolakaji, she was standing downstairs and said that, um, she won't come up to my room. That doesn't happen that you don't go up to you, your feet always take you to his room only. Wherever you go, have fun, do this, do that, eventually go to his room. And that's how it was at that time. So, but he had her standing. So she said, You can't go up. I said, What do you mean? He said that you have to do 10,000 Om Namah Shivais and then go up to his room. So I, I couldn't understand what I did wrong. So I was so hurt and I was so angry. I said, his course, he should teach it. Why does he want me to teach it? That's what was going on in my head, right? So I wanted to go rafting. I'm going rafting. Why, why is he angry that I'm going rafting? I couldn't understand that at all. But because he said, do 10,000, I, I listen to anything, everything. I may fight. I may, uh, I, sorry, I can't say I fight. I may rebel. But I do whatever he tells me to do eventually. So I will complain, I will cry, I will do all that. But I sat in my room and full night I stayed up. I didn't sleep. I did 10,000 Om Namah Shivas and I kept crying because I thought his punishing me was so wrong. <laughs> and then eventually in the morning, I, I finished my 10,000 Om Namah Shivas. As soon as I finished my 10,000 Om Namah Shivas, I went and you in those days we had to dip in Gangaji. So at four o'clock in the morning, come what may, everyone has to dip in Gangaji. And if you're missing, then he will make sure someone will come and put that torchlight into your room and make sure we'll wake you up. And you have to go to Gangaji and you have to dip in Gangaji with him and then come back and meditate in the mornings. In the hall. It used to be beautiful, ice cold water, but oh, 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 so refreshing it was. So I went to, to Gangaji and then I go to his room. And then I go and I'm so upset, right? I'm still crying. And he knew exactly I'd been crying. So he then, uh, as soon as I walked in, he, you know, he had me sit down and he says, chocolate khaegi. <laughs> and he gives me chocolate. He gives me flowers. You know, I am telling you, I am telling you, he's, you know, Gurudev is, like he can't stand, he can't watch Tears in a devotee's eyes. He cannot watch it. You know, it brings me back. It brings me to another story. Once um, he sent me to Netherlands to do. Uh, you know, that is the first time we were giving away a Human Values Award, and it was going to be in Netherlands. And uh, so we had this one very nice conference arranged. Gurudev was going to be coming. Uh, you know, Rudlupers, the, the ex-PM, who's still very uh, close to Gurudev. He comes to all our events. He keeps coming to India all the time. He was there. And uh, so it was supposed to be a very nice, big affair and a very respectable thing. And uh, so everything was planned, organized. And then... Like about a week or so before that, there's this huge one-page article with Guruji's picture, huge picture of Gurudev. So I was so happy. I told someone, read, read for me because it was in their language. And they read and they said, it's a very bad article, everything negative. I said, what? What do you mean? So there's something negative. I, like, oh my God, you know. 
So I called Gurudev. I said, Guruji, this is uh, not a good article. This is, you know, this is what they've written. He says, नहीं नहीं ऐसा तो नहीं हो सकता है देखो उसमें कुछ तो अच्छा होगा सो आई एम लाइक या देर इज वन सेंटेंस दैट यू टीच अ ब्रीदिंग टेक्निक दैट आल्सो दे डोंट से इट्स गुड सो आई एम लाइक आई डोंट नो व्हाई दे हैव रिटन दिस आई डोंट नो हु हैज रिटन दिस एंड फॉर व्हाट एंड सो ही से सो व्हेन आई सेड या देयर इज ओनली दैट वन सेंटेंस यू नो दैट यू दैट यू टीच अ ब्रीदिंग टेक्निक सो यू नो व्हाट ही से मैंने बोला कुछ तो अच्छा लिखा ही होगा I said, "Guru Ji, it's a whole thing, and they've only written one sentence. Said that you, you teach a breathing technique." So he was so, I am so amazed at how free and untouched he is. Free, untouched. You can say anything about him; it doesn't touch him. Just doesn't touch him. He's so centered. He's so, I don't have the words, but he's just so free, untouched by anything. Like what are words, you know, for him? He he's just aligned with the truth. That's it. So he did that. Are we getting late? No, 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 absolutely not. <laughs> so yeah, it's so still midnight. Had, huh? So that, and then afterwards, uh, so that was that. And then after that, you know, we went and we just spoke to a few, you know, the. Um, Indian. Uh, we went to the Indian embassy. Well, just few people spoke to everyone. I think got everything uh, together and all. And then again, so everything was fine. And then you know we were. But two days before, there was a worse article. Worse article came out. So then I was like very upset. And I have called Guruji. And and then I said Guruji, you know, and I was like suddenly, you know, you can't take it. But you know, he this man, he here he is. He's working so hard. He works. Minimum twenty-two hours a day. There are times when he has not even slept a wink at night. But he sleeps two hours, three hours maximum. If he's traveled the whole world and come back to rest, he will sleep four hours. That's like maximum. But otherwise, a couple of hours a night he sleeps. And this man does all this for the world, the entire world he works for. And this is what you do. You know, you can't take it when people, you know, say these things. So I've called him. I'm like, Guru Ji, think it's even worse. This article. Why do you need to come to these countries where they don't value you? <laughs> There's so many people who love you in India. Why do you need to come here? He's saying, "Ha, तेरी बात तो सही है, लेकिन अब क्या करें अब? शुरू तो कर ही दिया है. ये जिम्मेदारी तो ले ली है मैंने दुनिया के लिए. तो लोग बोले कि ना बोले. काम तो मुझे करना ही पड़ेगा. And So that's it, and then after he heard me cry, what he does is he has suddenly changed everything. I think he made a couple of calls, and one of the calls went to the one of the teachers in Netherlands that um, talked to Sangeeta. Tell her that the article is not so bad. The article is very good. Lie to her. <laughs> tell her because. She, And then that day, apparently, everyone who went to his room, he told everyone, "You know, she's crying. You know, she's crying." And then he just changed everything around. And then things just like a good article started coming out in the newspapers. And then, you know, people came together, and you know, all these things started. I've forgotten now. A lot of things happened at that time, but I don't need to get into all that. The thing is, everything worked out. And then. Uh, He had committed to being there in that conference for twenty minutes. He'll sit there, do his thing, and he will leave, and the conference will continue. But then, when he came, he sat for the entire conference from nine in the morning till four in the evening. And at four in the evening, he got off the stage and he came straight to me, and he's saying, "Ab khush to." So what I'm trying to say is that for him. it did not matter at all for him it just didn't matter what anyone says what they don't say what nothing untouched but a one tear in a devotee's eyes he cannot take he cannot take that he will he will do whatever he can to change things around 
but he cannot bear one tear in a devotee's eyes. I have seen this time and again, not just with me, with everyone, with so many people. Love, that's it. Devotion. You know, it's like you are his, like, like you're his. One day, when I was 28 years, so there were quite a few occasions when I had an opportunity to cry on his shoulder. And one day I was something, I was crying, I was really crying for something. And he's saying, Sangeeta, don't be afraid of me. Like he could, you know, like the pain, when you feel some pain and you cry, he feels that pain 10 times more than you feel it. Or probably even more. I don't know. I'm not sitting in him. But the, what he's, when he said that, I felt that he was feeling more pain than I was. Okay. <laughs> Didi, can we have a small guru bhajan? Yeah, let's do a bhajan now. Come. Yeah. But how long have we been talking Didi. for? Fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. Fifty minutes or so. Yeah, yeah. But people are saying we can keep listening to you till four o'clock in the morning. That's the plan, Didi. You know, listening to you, we would like to go into the birthday celebration today. <laughs> we, listen to okay. <laughs> we listen to Sarang. So am I audible now? Yes, Sarang. Am I audible? Guru Charanam Sada Bajo Guru Charanam Sada Bajo Guru Charanam Sada Bajo Guru Charanam Sada Bajo Chinmaya Manasa Chinmaya Manasa Guru Charanam Sada Bajo Guru Charanam Sada Bajo Chinmaya Manasa Chinmaya Manasa Jaya 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 Guru Deva 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 Jaya Ravi Teja Shankar Deva Jaya Ravi Teja Shankar Deva Sumeru Vasa Sada Mandhasa Sumeru Vasa Sada Mandhasa Sunayana Gyana Prakash Sunayana Gyana Prakash Guru Charnam Sada Bajo Guru Charnam Sada Bajo Chinmaya Manasa Jaya 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 Guru Deva Jaya 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 Guru Deva Jaya Ravi Teja Shankar Deva Jaya Ravi Teja Shankar Deva Sumeru Vasa Sada Mandha 
bahasa sumeru bahasa sadaman bahasa sunaya gyan Guru Charanam Sardavajo So beautiful, lovely. Didi, that's the plan. Today we want to listen. Even listening to you is so blissful. And these few bhajans in between, we can get into a 13th May celebration with the Guru Puja in the midnight chant. If that's I okay with you. Break. You can't have me talk so much. People will get bored. How much can you listen to? No, no. Everybody, every, more than 5,000 people are tuned in, Didi. And everybody is blissful. 5,000 people? Yeah, it, really? it's live on the it's yeah, it's live on five different platforms. And <laughs> so so many people are enjoying it. They, they are saying that they can this can go on till four o'clock in the morning. But look at you Even making listening to you is so soothing. <laughs> So, Didi, uh, Gyan Prakash, did Gurudev used to give you knowledge? Uh, there were there knowledge discussion, or you used to read so many books? Yes, Listening so. to you on various topics, even Guru Gita or different things, Yoga Vashistha, yeah. Kis tarha se wo? Hey, nahi, aise kuch nahi hai. See, we all know Gurudev, right? He has his own way of transferring knowledge. It, he just awakens the knowledge in you. I cannot claim to have read anything, any some, you know, I'm no expert on any, don't have any expertise on any scriptures or books or none of that. Um, and, you know, Guruji's way of teaching, I remember when we were in uh, Rishikesh, Rishikesh, everything keeps coming back to Rishikesh, but one day, and someone came to Guruji and said that, uh, uh, you know, they, that time, no one really knew, I mean, you know, no, I mean, he was, didn't know about him. So uh, one person came and said, do you have any books that we can read? So he pointed to all of us and he says, yeah, they're all my books, read them. So, like, and his way of transferring knowledge, you know, is different, right? He speaks, it's not that he doesn't speak, but what he doesn't say is so much more powerful, you know? Didi, we have people from so many countries saying hi to you. Uh, from Indonesia, people are saying hi. I think <laughs> I spent some from good USA. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, do you have any? Mem you have traveled a lot, Didi. Can you share some memories? Some Indonesia, stories from about Indonesia. I remember how I went to Indonesia. Um, you know, again, I went to once I went to Rishikesh and I, have, so, you know, it was not easy to go to Rishikesh. It was, you go from Bombay to Delhi was a long flight. Then from there, it's a six, seven hour journey to Rishikesh. So you start in the morning, you reach there late in the evening. And so, and then you have to walk it across to Van Prast Ashram. So did all that. I go there and finally a shower change, all that. I go into Gurudev's Kutir and Gurudev says, you do one thing, uh, you leave for Bombay and uh, tomorrow and you then go to Rishike, uh, go to uh, Indonesia tomorrow or day after. So I have just come here. So he says, yeah, yeah, but you go. So uh, go meaning go. So I have called uh, Jakarta, he gave me a number and I called Minuji. Minuji was such a fantastic teacher and a superb volunteer, superb, dynamic. And uh, she left her body some time back. But I called her, I had her number, I called her. And uh, she said, 
no, I, I called uh, someone else and she, I think, called me back and said that, uh, you know, uh, I said, I, Gurudev has told me to come there. And they have called Guruji and said, Guruji, please do not send any teacher. There is no possibility of any course happening here. So Guruji said, come what may, Sangeeta has to leave tomorrow and come there. He was not willing to take no for an answer. So they called me and I said, well, come. So I went and they said, with a lot of difficulty, we've got 20 people. After that, I don't think we're going to be able to arrange more people. And um, so I said, okay, now he has sent me and he has insisted. So I will teach and then see whatever. So taught 20 people. And then on the last day of the course, I said, I'm new in this country. If you've enjoyed the course, then you know, help me arrange more people and send your friends and family. Next day onwards, I had two courses a day. All around, my first course after that was a 70 people course. After that, all courses twice a day around 100 people. Give or take, you know, like that. And in between, so I used to be in the same hall and in between we would do volunteer training. I remember that so much. And this continued for so long. So you know what I'm trying to say is that when Gurudev tells you to do something, he's not telling you to apply your mind. He's just telling you to take your body there. The work is done. Before you even reach there, the work is done. You just have to go there and do play acting. That's it. He's the director. You don't have to direct the film. Don't, start, don't, don't get confused in your role. Your role is an actor's, not the director's. Let the director do his job. You do your job. So if you're willing to be just an actor, you will see how everything just happens. And you know that it's all done beforehand. Same thing in, with Indonesia that happened. Then that same thing happened even when he sent me to America. I went to America in, in 99. He took me from, I remember he took me to the Millennium Course in Italy. There was a Millennium Course over there. And uh, uh, that was the year that Amma left her body. And I remember that even though that course happened, the Millennium Course happened. And on New Year's Eve, I remember Gurudev sitting there. And there were so many people, thousands, many, many, it was a big, big course. Gurudev was sitting there and he says, you know, there was a lady in my life and there was pin drop silence, meaning you could not even hear anyone breathe. And he says, she loved me so much. She loved me more than herself. And then... You could feel his tears, right? Like, I'm sure I saw tears in his eyes. I'm sure. But there was not, in the audience, there was not a single dry eye. Not a single dry eye in the audience. That was the year Amma passed away. Anyway. So that's just something I wanted to tell you. I remember that when talking about Italy. And then after that, he took me to America with him. And you want to say, you want to say something? No, 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 nothing. So then after that, he took me to America with him. And, um, and then he took me and then he left me there. He told me he was taking me for a month or two months or something. He left me there for nine months. And... Um, uh, he, he left me there and uh, he was so sweet, you know. He has personally called people, told them to take care of me. I'm sending my teacher from America, from India, make sure she's comfortable, take care of her and all that. But there were really no courses happening at that time. But there were a few teachers, no, very few teachers were there. They were still, they were still developing, the country it was still happening there. And um, so uh, he gave me only two instructions. One, uh, he just told me, he said, teach big courses and uh, kindle love in people. That's the only thing he said. Yeah. And uh, so you know, when you go there, you land there, there is like a course of three people and five people happening every two, three months. 
and we sing teach big courses large courses i don't have volunteers i don't have anything everyone's busy over there who's going to help you was but somehow there were like just a few people who got together and they supported me and then we had like one course of 50 people then we had 100 people then we had 200 we had like large courses and uh, like big courses a lot of people started doing courses and um, you know a lot of people became teachers and all that and um, so one day and then you know we got some media coverage and this and that and all so then gurudev was asking me he says so what is happening this so i told him i said it's so easy why didn't they do it earlier so he says he just looked at me sharply and he says don't think it has anything to do with any person it's all about time when the time is right it just happens through whoever so you didn't allow that gap you know you didn't allow it to enter my head that who oh, i did it and someone else didn't do it you know so he did that to me and also in that process i clearly saw anyone would have clearly seen that it was already done you know it's not it was not difficult to arrange those big courses you know i taught a few courses then volunteers came taught dsns and then they, you know we all get got together all those people are till today they probably there right now i don't know if they're there online but they are uh, they are some of the most strong teachers today in in america uh, a lot of them they are there so i saw that everything just happened you know you didn't really i can't today if i look back and say if someone asks me what was the strategy you know how so often people say what is your strategy how do you teach big courses what do you do and say i have no plan i have no strategy i just go along with his strategy i don't know what his strategy is i just go along with that literally doing play acting i can see that that the stage is set before i even reach there the stage is set i have seen that numerous times because it's impossible impossible as you an individual a person to do you know what you did when i look back i say how do i did how did i do that i mean how did it happen you know it's not really you know you really need to get that you know you get that is another very nice thing that you know how gurudev is all the knowledge he gives us it's not through words or books it's such practical experience you know one day um, again he is in rishikesh and i am in bombay and he calls me and he says what are you doing what's your plan i said gurudev um, you know i had a dsn announced this week but i've been teaching back to back every week i got really tired so i asked someone else to teach that course very good it means you're free na so you do one thing i was supposed to be in san francisco there's a conference going on right now in san francisco uh, on prisons so i need a prison smart uh, representative and i'm sitting in rishikesh i was supposed to go so i can't go now you go now i have a, an american passport i was born there so It's so easy. I don't need a visa. Nothing. You go. <laughs> I'm the only one who can be sent overnight, so, you know, easily. So uh, he says, um, "You go." I said, "But what do you want me to go there and do?" He says, "Ha! Huh, you will have to speak a lot, and there is no time right now to brief you on what you have to say. Doesn't matter. You go. I'll do the talking." So. i have said okay he's called me late in the night so i said okay i'll sleep tonight i'll get up in the morning and book a flight and in the meantime i have just called america to let them know i'm coming so they may have called gurudev to say that you know she called he says she called you but i told her to leave last night she's still in bombay he need he wanted me to leave in one minute like that in one second he wanted me to just leave and uh, so he called me he says why are you still there leave I said I thought I will sleep. If you call me at mid in the middle of the night, I thought I'd finish sleeping and then go next morning. He says no, no, leave right now. Conference is in progress. So I've taken this thirty plus hour flight, gone there, landed there, 
changed my clothes at the airport itself i have been picked up from the airport driven 4 hours to go to that place where the conference was and then we reached the conference there's no place for me to rest anything straight away i had to go to and sit in the conference and speak now i have spoken such rubbish i can't tell you while speaking i'm thinking oh my god gurudev he's just i'm you has put his reputation at stake by sending me here because i'm speaking total rubbish and uh, so i have uh, finished everything and then you know i really needed to sleep so i got up and i was i left when i was leaving some lady came running from behind me she says you know i'm a journalist from the yoga um, yoga journal and your talk was so inspiring i want to interview you so when she said your talk was so inspiring i'm thinking who is she talking to is it me because i took to really spoke rubbish but there was so much between what i said and what she heard something happened between what i said and what she heard and you know he's saying that i will do the talking he spoke in her ear not through my mouth but in your her ear he spoke for sure so really i'm saying that you know he, like you, you're literally just a puppet when you work for him you're just a puppet and when you do that in the process you also grow and whatever results have to happen they also happen through you whether in a course it is benefiting someone else someone else's spiritual growth or you know when you have to convey a message to someone or something it just happens and in that process you also grow. you want to acquire merit when you do that so it's a very beautiful plan he's got it organized so beautifully you know you know i don't know what to say divijay ji yeah divi you were mentioning a very beautiful incidents when he called all the senior teachers to his kutir yeah who oh, i have to tell you this yeah <laughs> <laughs> so in those days we used to travel everywhere all over the world and we used to really work very hard we used to work many hours so the one day all of us got together in the ashram so we would get together certain times of the year that we would all meet you know the ashram we would, like shivratri and navratri and certain times you know that we would all be there in the ashram so it was just one of those i can't remember one of those times and we were all there and we were all and there was this one uh uh one ganesh uh, ganesh kutir where we would all stay and at that time we were all staying in one of those round kutirs and um, so till late in the night we were discussing that oh, i did so much work and someone say i did so much work and i am so tired and i'm so this and i'm so that and then uh, next morning gurudev has uh, someone has come knocking at all our doors gurudev is calling you all gurudev is calling you all so we were like gurudev is calling us see we work so hard gurudev is calling us so we all go to gurudev's kutir and all and then he makes us sit in the back so we sit and we feeling very happy and proud and all are sitting and then sitting and then sitting and then sitting and then sitting and while we are sitting for one hour two hours three hours a moving little left right because in those days that kutir was just one round kutir nothing else huh? this one round kutir and he had like one uh, one cot in one side and one little folding chair he used to have on which he used to sit like literally a baby chair a folding baby chair on which he would sit and one little table in front of him on which he would keep things and give to people so that's all and then there was just chatai it's just mats on the floor and and then there were like the windows were just slits like that and there were lizards would come through it and ants would come through it and everything would come through it and that was his room where he slept ate met people everything happened only in that one room and so we were sitting in the back in that one little tiny round kutir in the back we were sitting and moving and feeling uncomfortable and everything and in the meantime there's a huge line of people coming and going and patiently someone saying my gurudev please bless my daughter gets married and then he speaks and what does she do they say dana eh, prashad go next one gurudev you know i have this back pain you know uh, 
patiently oh okay where what okay okay you go meet this doctor here take prashad go and uh, guruji my son he needs a job he is he is very qualified and i said oh acha oh okay why don't you talk to this one that one okay 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 ha ha oh someone has a guruji the tank has is broken the water tank is broken there's a problem water is not coming oh acha okay okay then go do this go do that whatever whatever then someone something else and something we will keep coming going keep coming going keep coming going 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 two hours till lunch time we said okay now he'll get up for lunch at least you know lunch time comes lunch time goes and then finally couldn't take it in that little hot kutti not even a fan there and then till then people are coming non stop and he's patiently listening to everyone and getting the job done yeah, he didn't have secretaries in those days and uh, then later finally i couldn't take it at 6 o'clock i said gurudev don't you think you should get some fresh air step outside go for a walk or something and he said ha 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 i think i will meditate so he gets up and he moves he just gets up and he moves a little and then he moves and before before going out he stops where all of us were sitting all we will hold bunch of senior teachers sitting there he stops he looks at all of us and he says this is called working and he walked away we felt so small after that none of us ever said that we work hard <laughs> and you observe him work <laughs> whatever you do is nothing it's just playing <laughs> yeah so that's Didi, a... there, there are so many people who are mentioning about your birthday story i also would like to listen to your birthday story but after the song if that's okay with you yes, can song, we have a yeah. listen to a song and then we'll start and there is many people are mentioning about your bhajan also thank you thank you, you so much, much. Yeah. Thank you. I guess the sound settings have not been changed. Guru Gobind to khade ka khela go pa गोविंद तो खड़े काकेला को बलि हरि गुरु आप लो गोविंद दियो बताए कबीरा गोविंद दियो बताए गुरु गोविंद तो खड़े काकेला को गुरु गोविंद तो खड़े काकेला को बलि हरि गुरु आप लो गोविंद दियो बताए कबीरा गोविंद दियो बता तन विश्व की बेदरी गुरु अमृत की खान विश्व की बेदरी गुरु अमृत की खिष्यो जो गुरु मिले तो भी सस्ता जान कबीरा तो भी सस्ता जान सब धरती का गज करू लेखन सब बनरा सब धरती का गज करू लेखन सब बनरा सात समुद्र की मसी करू गुरु 
गुरुगुण लिखा न जाए कबीरा गुरुगुण लिखा न जाए ऐसी वाणी बोलिए मन का पापा खो ऐसी वाणी बोलिए मन का पापा खो और इनको शीतल करे खुद भी शीतल हो कबीरा खुद भी शीतल हो दुख में सुमिरण सब करे सुख में करे अन को दुख में सुमिरण सब करे सुख में करे अन को जो सुख में सुमिरण करे तो दुख का है हो कबीरा तो दुख का है तो दुख का है हो कबीरा तो दुख का है ब्यूटीफुल सारंग यस दीदी अबाउट योर बर्थडे स्टोरी यू नो दैट बर्थडे स्टोरी दैट दे ऑल आस्किंग फॉर इट्स ऑलरेडी देयर ऑन YouTube बट आई वांट टू टेल यू वन अदर बर्थडे स्टोरी माय फर्स्ट बर्थडे आफ्टर आई मेट हिम it was in the ashram bangalore ashram and in those days the ashram it was not we just had like very few rooms some you know it was all everything was thatched even our dining area it was like just a thatched roof and there was nothing concrete so even our kitchen was like that it was uh, there was a tin roof and uh, we didn't have a stove or anything it was all on the floor and um, there's no platform and i remember it was my birthday so i said okay let me go to guruji's kutir in the morning and his door usually opens at 9 so i said okay his door will open at 9 i want to be waiting outside when his door opens i'll take blessings from him so i must have gone at about 8 o'clock or something i started walking and i passed that kitchen passed the kitchen and i see his footwear outside so i say what is gurudev doing at this time in the kitchen so i open the kitchen i go in and he says oh the birthday girl has come i thought it's your birthday so we should treat everyone and you know in those days we didn't have so like it's not like we had so many devotees who would be bringing things sweets and you know, we didn't have that no one like hardly anyone would ever come to the ashram so when you got fruit it was a big deal that you know fruit came to the ashram someone got fruit for gurudev so i saw that gurudev was chopping fruit in the kitchen and he says i thought everyone should have fruit salad for your birthday you know it was like if you remember if you if you were there at that time you would know that there was it's not that you know we would have ample things coming in uh, we didn't have so many people bringing things so whatever little was there it was always given to us at 8 in the morning you were sitting and cutting uh, fruit and he wanted to make fruit salad for everyone to celebrate my birthday and i remember that day he fried puris in the kitchen and he was serving in those days he used to cook and serve he loves cooking and he really cooks so well and he had fried puris and he was serving puris to everyone that it was so nice he's just so you no know, guruji is like everything you know 
is your mother, your father, really that song, Guru Mat Pita, but he's so much more, you know, he's, he's like everything to you, he's everything. You know, like I can only tell you the incident, but I can't express the feeling, you know. So when you hear it, you say, okay, yeah, so fine, he made food. It was not that. It was just so beautiful, you know, that whole, how he did it. So much love, so much love. You mentioned about the birthday story, which is there on YouTube. I have not heard yeah, it. What is go it about? YouTube and watch. <laughs> Okay. You want me to repeat that it's there? <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a brief, probably. My birthday. So it was one of my birthdays soon after I met him, right? And um, so I was thinking, I was like, you know, you used to birth, birthday meaning what? You have a party, your friends come over. That's so I didn't want to have. I didn't feel like doing any of those things, but I still wanted my friends there. And I was thinking, you know, it would. I can't remember that story. Now I've forgotten. What was I thinking? I was thinking that you know, it was so long ago. I'm forgetting all these stories. <laughs> but I was thinking something like um, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> you better start noting everything down. <laughs> um, but I was thinking that, you know, if, uh, you know, there's nothing special happening in my life right now. And was I thinking it would be nice to have Guruji or something? I, no, I can't remember what I was thinking really, but there was, there was like something, you know, there's no plan. And there was like a vacuum kind of a thing. Feeling that feeling was not so, and those days there was no phone in the ashram, there were no cell phones, there was no phone in the ashram. Phone was only in Gyan Nagar in the city, in our office in the city. So, uh, someone from there has called me and said that, uh, you know, Gurudev's coming to your place on the 23rd, my birthday, and uh, he's going to be staying with you. So I was like very happy. I said, oh, no, no, he's going to be coming with his staying. staying with me only, I think, those days it used to be. Now I've forgotten how it was. Um, can I skip this story? I've forgotten. I think he said, I'm forgetting whether he was staying, what it was. But okay, the essence was that, you know, he came. Uh, he came. Uh, I had not gone to pick him up or anything. He came by a taxi. And who came? Someone came with him. He, he got up in the morning and said, oh, "Let's." Probably, huh? This can be homework for everybody to, to search your story on the YouTube. Yeah, I've forgotten now the story. I don't know why. I can't remember. I just remember that he, he surprised me by coming uh, by taxi coming home, and then uh, he. So in my heart, huh, that, that vacuum was there, and I just thought, "Oh, if I had like someone in my life, then." But so he. Like he became that someone in my life, you know. He came and he gave me a box of heart shaped chocolates and all that. And I, I remember it was a nice birthday. But I, now I can't remember. I don't want to talk about the story because I can't remember it clearly right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've forgotten that story. <laughs> so, uh, Didi Vishalakshi Mandap was one of the first major events of Art of Living. Do you have any memory from that time? Vishalakshi Mandap, you know, when when VM and the inauguration happened, that time I was in America. And uh, so I he didn't tell me to come back. He wanted me to stay on and continue with the work. But everyone else, the teachers from America came to India. But I had to stay on over there and continue working. I didn't mind it. I didn't complain. I didn't mind it. But he really felt it, you know. He said it, he even called and he told me on the phone that uh, to itna sab ho hai, sab log aa rahe hai, par tum abhi wahi ho, koi baat nahi, tum aoghi, tab dikha denge. Like he felt that, you know, she's the only one who won't be here. Everyone else is going to be there. And uh, But I didn't feel bad about it. I didn't feel anything. I was okay to stay there and work. When I came to, uh, to India and when I went to the ashram, so what and he like Vishalakshmi for him was his dream project. Very proud of it. Loves loves it even today. And uh, he really wanted to show it to me. 
So I went straight to his kutir. I went to his kutir and it was night. I remember he took me, he got up, he took me by the hand. And that was that old Shakti kutir uh, in the other hill, the other side. And VM now, it is on the other side. Everything has shifted now to this side, right? This hill. So it's like a long walk. So one hill and then it's the other hill. So he has caught hold of my hand and he has taken me all the way from Shakti Kutir to Vishalakshi Manta. And uh, he has gone there and he has told everyone, you know, all those people who were there. And then there were a few people also who saw that, you know, he's taking me there. They, everyone came along. Who doesn't want to be with Gurudev? And then went and then he had them open the turn on the lights in VM and all that, open up VM, open the door, everything. And then we went in and he showed me every inch, every corner, every inch of Vishalakshi Manta. He showed me the flowers and he showed me the, uh, you know, the, 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 the lotus flowers on top. And then he showed me all the, the devis he has and, you know, or the Ganpati and this and that and the meaning of everything and everything. And he says, you know, it echoes over here. Sangeeta, Sangeeta, see how it echoes. <laughs> Meaning so much love, you know, so much love. See, it doesn't matter. You know, it's a building that has come up. People have come and something that happened. It's okay. But he felt that, you know, this girl is there continuing my work while everyone else is here celebrating. So when I came back, he, you know, he wanted me to experience that celebration. And I'm telling you, it was a million times more than being here during the actual celebrations. I just felt so much love, so much love and so much gratitude that he cared, you know, that he, like, so much he cared. It was not necessary, but just, you know, so beautiful, you know, like the minutest thing. He doesn't, he doesn't want you to miss out on even the minutest thing, you know. You know, when you do his work, he does a thousand times more for you than you even deserve. I mean, what I, what was I doing? Nothing. I was sitting comfortably just teaching a few courses here. There. But, you know, that I cannot even explain that so beautiful. Maybe there is something around Gujarat, you know, that worm and snake thing. Yeah. So many, many years ago, initially only, we had gone to, uh, I was traveling with him, we went to Gujarat. And uh, in Gujarat, he was sitting, he was sitting in Baroda or Andhapad or somewhere we were, and he was sitting and uh, he was talking to some very important person. I can't remember, must be some Polish, some, it was an important person at that time. And so they were having a conversation and, and nice conversation. It was in the flow and everything. Suddenly he starts looking around. So I'm like, Gurudev, you want something? He says, a paper ka piece de de na. Deko, yaha ek worm hai. With so much love, tender, caring, he has picked up that worm and said, isko gamele mein rab do, koi is pe pair rab de ga. Meaning for him at that time, that worm and that important person had the same meaning, the same importance. You know, for him, there is no difference, no difference. It's that worm and that person same, meaning the same thing once even in his kuti, I'm sure a lot of people know this story also, in his this uh, new kuti, not, not the current one, but the Ganga kuti, over there in the pipe, there was one snake which had not been moving for a few days. So he has called the vet and that, sick, that uh, snake was really sick. He thought, oh, the snake is really sick. So they've hospitalized the snake. The snake was in ICU because that king cobra had food poisoning. <laughs> King Cobra had food poisoning. And um, so he was in ICU and Gurudev would call every day to see how he was doing that snake. Can you imagine how many people would do that? No? So for him, it 
like man woman girl male female rich poor human animal like an insect you know how he has those hollow and empty meditations he talks about a tiny insect like a tiny ant and a huge elephant it's all the same it's all the same there's no difference for him you know we learn you know you you were asking na if we like books and all if we read you don't need books you just observe him i have learned whatever i have learned by observing him and you know a lot of things about him that i don't understand i have learned through my own actions this is something which is very beautiful also sometimes gurudev does certain things which you cannot fathom you don't understand like why is he doing this like what does it mean you know and then within a few days i catch myself doing exactly the same thing with a volunteer or someone and the minute i do it i understand oh this is what he meant oh this is what he was doing so he has his own ways of teaching us you know and they really they radical <laughs> yeah yeah jee how was your how was the experience of your first satsang in mumbai gurudev used to come to mumbai so often and he used to stay with you like 10 times in a year yeah oh, how how was your experience during those days or the satsangs in mumbai one of the first few satsangs yeah so you know when i first met him first when i met him in rishikesh i'd met him so and after that when i came back to bombay and i was driving i mean i was in my car and i'm looking around and i'm seeing these huge hoardings i don't know whether it was murari bapu or rasharam bapu who was you know like one of these saints and i see these huge hoardings and i say look at these huge hoardings but why do people not know my guru i mean like he is like how can they not know him how can they not recognize him why don't they like i couldn't understand why he was not known and in my head i took on the responsibility that everywhere is his hoarding should be there people should know him not because i wanted him to be known but because i wanted everyone to experience what i had experienced in his presence i wanted everyone to benefit from him being there you know so i said i said i want i want to see him like this all over and so it is kept on going this kept going on and on in my head and then he came to bombay multiple times in a year so then once then when he came next i said gurudev i'd like to have like a real big satsang like i'd like to have 100 people over is that okay with you he says yeah yeah go ahead in my head 100 was a youth satsang so i have called everyone all my mother's friends my friends won't come for satsang so I called all my mother's friends and everyone and then we had a 100 people satsang in my living room and it was a satsang is done now who's going to do the singing so i said oh i know how to sing i know these songs i've been to the ashram i know how to sing so i have closed my eyes and i've started singing the moment i sang and guruji opened his eyes and looked at me that's when i realized that's a, that was the first time i realized i cannot sing <laughs> luckily banu didi was there she did all the singing <laughs> that was the first satsang we ever had in bombay and at that time it was a dream to have 100 people and again now it is a dream to have only 100 people when he's there <laughs> not really though very happy that so many people are benefiting from his being here we don't know na when he'll come again sarang can we have one more what time is it now oh almost so long people are so bored can you please ask them that do they really want more or do are they bored they all are see, if you can see the comments the the i mean people can still do the comments and let the the know how you are liking it 
but we have so many comments so many comments <laughs> they are loving it people are in tears and they are feeling so much grateful somebody gave a very nice comment that uh, you are true your name sangeeta is very it it suits you very much because you are like gurudev's song oh <laughs> it's like you're singing for gurudev and you are like his song some <laughs> that so everybody is loving your story i'm glad now we listen to a real song <laughs> oh, we can't hear you sarang you are not audible can you do what you did earlier okay maybe after one more story we can come back to you can't you know? yeah yeah he he mm-hmm. just needs to do some setup didi uh, were there times when you cooked for gurudev yeah <laughs> see you know how this <laughs> that you have Because some to come to your house and... so yeah when gurudev comes home i i don't get a chance to cook for him or anything like that there's no time to do that right i mean there are other things that have to be taken care besides that's a good thing for him that i don't have time to cook uh because uh, poor thing <laughs> you really don't want but there is one time not at home this was in germany i was in the german ashram and gurudev was coming from canada and uh, so i'm seeing that no one is preparing for guruji's food nothing so i'm asking everyone who's going to cook for gurudev so they said you are i said i don't know how to cook i've never cooked in my life and uh, they say well you are the only one who knows you know what to feed him and how to feed him and all that i said oh god what am i going to do So what time is he coming? They said nine o'clock. I said when Guruji comes so late, he never eats. He'll just have a glass of warm milk and go to sleep. I know Gurudev. So, but anyway, we have to keep some food ready. Now, in my head, now the only things I know is you know like simple things like boiling pasta and you know opening a bottle of ragu sauce and mixing it in or stir frying some uh, broccoli and stuff like that. I mean baked potato. I mean easy things I knew how to do. but they didn't necessarily go together but i i said that's all i know how to make so let me just do it now so I, he's coming at 9 o'clock in the night early in the morning at 5 6 o'clock i'm doing my first stage pranayama and i'm thinking i don't know how long it's going to take to cook all this maybe i should clean the vegetables so i go clean the vegetables at 5 o'clock in the morning clean the vegetables second stage pranayama i'm doing i'm thinking maybe i should cut the vegetables and keep it that will be good so again i drop it i go to the kitchen i cut the vegetables then maybe i should boil the pasta meaning full day my mind was only in his food i'm only thinking oh my god like I, i don't know how long it will take to make it will it turn out good won't it turn out good doesn't matter he's just going to have milk and sleep he's not going to eat anyway full day i was engaged only in his food so uh, but i'm thinking he's not going to eat he's just going to come have warm milk and sleep so he has entered you know this flight was delayed so forget nine he has come at some 10 11 o'clock in the night and definitely he's not going to eat so late he never eats so late and um, so he's standing at the door and i said okay let's do aarti and all doing aarti and all you know interested he's saying khana taiyar hai bahut bhook lagi hai so tanuja didi was there with me then tanuja le mai ji tanuja didi she was there with me and so drop the aarti give it to someone and run up to the kitchen and start heating his food i'm still not even started heating his food someone comes running gurudev saying don't worry about eating the food just give it to me i'm hungry like what does i've never heard gurudev like this i've never ever been he is the master of fasts i have seen him spend an entire day without a drop of water forget food never heard him ask for food like that and enough time i've spent with him to know that you know he's not you know he doesn't he's never done this so this is really strange 
So I, I take the food, my hands are shaking like that. And I go, Gurudev, I don't know whether there's any taste or not in this food, whether there's anything else or not, but there's a lot of love in it. Please eat, Gurudev, whatever it is, just eat this. So he's ignored me completely and he's eating and all that. Then after some time, he's saying, and then he's saying, have you been cooking all day? I said, yeah. So he says, no wonder. I don't remember ever in my entire life feeling this hungry. Ever. And he's saying, I don't understand what happened to me today. But now I know. So you see how connected we are to him. You know, we say that, how does Guruji know when something is happening to me? I'm sitting in another part of the world. He's somewhere else. How does he know what's going on inside of me? How does he know what's happening to me? How, like, how does he know? No, he feels it. If you are thinking about his food, he's feeling the hunger. He just knew we are so connected. We're not even connected. We are him. We're inside him. Like he, he feels us inside him. You know, there's another time like that only, uh, food related. This was, he was in Bombay. And he was uh, fasting full day. It was Ekadashi. Full day. He had not even had water because I was with him throughout the day. I know he was only meeting people in the hot sun. Hot sun. And he was only full day outside meeting thousands of people. There was not a water bottle in sight. He finishes all that, comes back home, showers, changes. He's in his room. I, from under the door, I can tell the lights have gone off. I'm cleaning up outside. Um, there are a few volunteers are in the kitchen. And, you know, people bring food for Gurudev, thinking that he may eat, right? So they, everyone wants to offer. So people have brought all the food, but we had to distribute it amongst the volunteers because he was not eating, he was fasting, and he had already retired to the room. So we have given away everything. We're cleaning up the kitchen and all that. Suddenly, he has gone, retired to his room. He opens the door. He comes out and he says, Someone has brought makhan for me, white butter. Bring me that because if I don't eat that, she won't sleep all night. And if she doesn't sleep all night, I won't sleep all night. So I said, but Gurudev, now we have given away all the food everyone brought to all the volunteers. There's no food left. Kitchen is clear. He says, you will have to get me that makhan somehow because she's not going to be okay if I don't eat that makhan. So then I go back to the kitchen and see what to do, what to do. And I see this box lying there. And it's that makkhan. And then we give him that makkhan at night. And he eats that makkhan at night. Just butter, plain butter he eats. This man has fasted all day. He has not even had water. He could have seen it through the fast ends at four in the morning. He could have easily seen it through and had it in the morning. He did not. He, after having fasted all day, not even had water, he broke his fast. He interrupted his fast with butter. Why? Because someone put so much love into making that butter for him that he had to eat it. This is our master. We cannot understand him. You can only feel, you cannot understand. And even the feeling that we feel is just a fraction of what he feels. He's our master. So Didi, we'll go to Sarang once. Good we'll go to Sarang and then should we... Achha. Let Saran take over now, right? Jai Gurudev. Saran, you want to take over now? This thing. Yeah, I can. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Am I audible? Yeah, I can hear you. Just sing now. Just continue. Now, enough story. Enough story. So I just, 
uh, I can just relate this particular uh, bhajan to all the stories that you have been saying and I, I just uh, came to, I also realized that this is one of your favorites. So let's do this. रहते हैं जलवे आपके नजरों में हर घड़ी रहते हैं जलवे आपके नजरों में हर घड़ी मस्ती का जाम आपने मस्ती का जाम आपने ऐसे मिला दिया मस्ती का जाम मुझको आपके किस्मत ने मुझको आपके काबिल बना दिया हमको तुम्हारे प्यार 
Love this. You know, this is written by Urmila G. I think she lives in Switzerland and uh, not in Switzerland okay. now, in the German ashram. She was in Switzerland now, she's in the German ashram. Written by her. Wow. In those days, she used to write all these. <laughs> so lovely, them. so lovely. Yeah. So <laughs> lovely. We should also, so, uh, the, the songs yeah. that they has written also, we can sing that also later. Would you like to sing Someone, that now? Something written by Gurudev. Huh. You have, no, that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do. Big Vijay Ji, should we do, which, do that now? Yeah. Which song is that? Which song is that? He will tell us. He... Okay, so uh, the puja, the guru, the guru puja is is under preparation. That person is joining. The Pandit, uh, she is joining. So, uh, Didi, there is also a famous story about your home that it got fire uh, yeah. and then it, it got made in four days. Can you tell no, us a little bit that. about that? The one that got the fire story is different. And then there's mm -hmm. another story. See, when uh, Gurudev used to come home, you know, I used to come home so often. And then it was like a family member. So we just, and it was our bungalow. So it was easy for us to build another floor on top. So we thought he should have his own. <laughs> so there was a new floor being made. And um, so uh, that, he was supposed to come. He was scheduled to come and stay there. But, you know, it was not ready. The day he was like uh, about four days before. There were no tiles in the bathroom. There was no main door. There was no paint on the walls. There were no curtains. It was in shambles, meaning there's no, it would have taken at least like another three, four months to complete. So um, I have called uh, Khurshid Ji, uh, Bawa, and uh, requested him that, you know, can Gurudev stay with you? Because uh, Gurudev also used to stay with them very often. They had a place in Andheri and Gurudev would stay there very often. So I said, this time, is it okay if we keep him with you? Gurudev can stay with you. I mean, don't need to request anyone. It's a blessing. So, you know, I said, can he stay with you this time? So what he, Baba has called Gurudev and said, uh, Guruji, her place is not ready. So will you stay with me? So Guruji is saying, Dekho, main uske ghar bhi reh sakta So he still really wanted to come home to out for whatever reason. That must have been a good day or something like that for a new home. So he wanted to come home at that time. So I said, okay, fine. If he wants to come, uh, if Guruji wants to come, he, I mean, this, he wants to come, right? So just got to work, you know. I don't know how it happened, but in four days, we had a new door. We had curtains. We had paint on the walls. Uh, the bathroom was fully ready. Uh, like it was four months worth of work was done in four days. And when Gurudev came, he came and he danced in the whole house. He went to every corner and then he danced over there. In four days, it was done. You know, he like he controls time. Even once the same thing happened when we had the women's conference the first time. And he said, teacher, basic course. There. I said, okay. How many hours? Six hours. I said, okay, so you want me to do just pranayam on the first day? And next two days, Kriya, there's nothing else that's possible to do. No, no, do everything. All the processes, all the points, everything, do everything. So six hours. He said, Kya hoga? you have experience. I said, okay, if he says do, meaning do. I went to class and then it turns out I didn't have six hours. I had only three hours, uh, one hour each day. And I taught the entire course with all the processes, everything in three days. And I don't know how I did it. I really don't know because it's impossible to do it in three hours. So that time he controls it, he just kind of stretched that time, that one hour he stretched it. I don't know what he did. I don't know. I mean, this is just my, you know, linear way of thinking. But yeah. 
Didi, uh, this this story where when the, your house got fire, uh, got on fire was something like that. You you kept your Sudarshan Kriya tape at some yeah. spot and only that spot was safe, right? So the whole temple was my whole mandir. As in, it was see, I had glass wool in the ceiling. I had a woolen carpet, wall to wall carpet. There was a mandir which there was silk covering it, going down, touching the carpet. His padukas were there. Sudarshan Kriya tape was there. His picture was there. I had, you know, during satsangs I used to write everything. So I had those books, paper. I had some forms. You know, those days courses I used to teach in my room only. Um, so initial years, right? So for everything was there. Paper was there. So much paper, and the whole room is in flames. I didn't even have a toothbrush the next day. And the fire brigade had to like everything was in flames. Meaning the fire brigade had to break the window and enter the this thing. Everything was gone. We couldn't enter the room because it was like full of soot and smoke. And when we actually went in, everything was destroyed except whatever was there in that on that mantle. Everything except that which was there. All paduka paper books. Everything, creative. So all the uh, four thousand nine hundred and sixty-five and plus people, yeah, the plus and minus two two hundred people who are watching, we will do Guru Puja in some time. In five minutes, we will start with Guru Puja, and mm -hmm. then we will have nice one more bhajan with Sara. Didi, uh, just be, till the time the Guru Puja is getting prepared, almost only five minutes. Can you, in brief, tell your one more story about that passport thing? How the passport thing? <laughs> All the stories we want only in one day. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that. But you Didi, know, you have so many more. Let me tell everybody. Didi, ha Didi is on this path since 1992 and. All the steps Guru Dev is guiding her personality. So beautiful to listen to her stories and through her experience. So many people are mentioning, looking at you, the way you are carrying Guru Dev's presence. We are feeling like we are in Guru Dev's presence only. This is oh. the best way to celebrate the birthday. Okay. <laughs> and those, uh, I will, I will. Uh, for many people who are asking about the advanced course in Rishikesh, which you had planned in June or July, whether it's still on or not, oh, no. I will tell them. that uh, as of now she is conducting online course so that is happening for sure so uh, there is a scroller which is going on there so you can definitely enroll for our online silence program mm -hmm. so did you that passport story and then we'll go with you know i was in netherlands and in netherlands i forgot my passport there and i got on a so uh, i think sangeeta didi is is connecting again to the broadcast till then we can start the guru puja we have smriti ji online with us for guru puja and uh, jai gurudev smriti didi jai gurudev yeah so uh, guru puja hum karenge uske baad jo story hai wo wapas continue karenge and let me see if she's here yeah i think she i'm back right yeah 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 please please so should we just do guru puja then now so you complete the story now otherwise we will not be able to meditate 
Okay. No, so I was in Netherlands. I forgot my passport there. I have come to the German ashram and uh, Gurudev is there. Next day, I had to leave to go to Switzerland. I have, um, I had a meeting there and I also had a course there. So it was really important that I go there. And uh, I told Guruji, I said, Guruji, my passport is uh, in Netherlands now. I don't know what to do. And I said, so he's saying, no, 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 bina passport can each other. I said, no, Guruji, why don't you do one thing? Just make sure I cross the border and I will tell Netherlands to send me the, is it okay to say this on, okay, I, I should not, maybe, is this story going to go on permanently? Yeah. But kind of Gurudev helped you to manage your travel. We can just, we understood that just. So there are so many such un, uh, untold stories and amazing <laughs> stories which you can hear from Didi if you plan a session with her. And that's what you should do. Huh? <laughs> so shall we start uh, with Guru Puja Didi? <laughs> Come. <laughs> Uh, you know all those uh, who, who all the guru puja pandits you all can either meditate or if you wish to you can chant along with yeah and the rest of us who have not done the guru puja course you can just sit and meditate and just soak the you know the the vibrations of the chants and uh, just soak in it and don't try to make sense out of it just enjoy it yeah Yeah, we all can maybe do Nadi Shodan Pranayam till the scrolling is happening with Smriti Ji. She's ready. Around. Yeah, yeah, she she's ready. I can see her on this back end screen. Probably Achha. it's time to, it's taking okay. time for the live. Yeah, we'll do Nadi Shodan. Come. Would you like to guide them how to do? Yeah, please, Didi, you guide. You can guide them. Okay. Right thumb on right nostril, index and in middle uh, fingers in between the eyebrows, ring finger and little finger on the left nostril, shut the right nostril and exhale through the left, and then very slowly, gently inhale through the left, shut both nostrils, into the right. Inhale through the right. Shut both nostrils. Exhale through the left. And continue. Continue breathing. Sada Shiva Samaram Bham Shankaracharya Madhyamam Asma Shri Guru Pariyantam Vande Guru Paramparam Apavitra Pavitro va sarva vasthanga topiva Yasmarit pundari kaksham sabahya bhintara shuchihi 
नारायण पद्म वशिष्ठ शक्ति तत्पुत्रपराशर व्यास शुक गौड़पद महा गोविंद योगींद्रमथा शिष्य श्रीशंकराचार्य मथा पद्म पाद हस्तामलक शिष्य तम त्रोटक वार्तिकस्मदुरुसतमस्मी श्रुति स्मृति आल करुणालय नमा भगवत पाद शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यत वंदे भगवतन पुनः यद्वारे निखिला निलिंप परिषद सिद्धि विधत्ते निशम श्रीमच्छ्रीलसित जगद्गुपद नमतृप्ति गता लोकाज्ञानपयोदुर श्रीशंक शर्मद ब्रह्मानंद सरस्वती गुरुवर ध्यायाम ज्योतिर्मय आवाहन समर्पयाम श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम आसन समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम स्ना समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम वस्त्र समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम चंदन समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम अक्षता समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम पुष्प समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम धूप समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम दीप समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम आचमनीय समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम नैवेद्यम समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम आचमनीय समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम तांबूल समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम श्रीफल समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम आरा कर्पूर गौर करुणावतारम संसार सारम भुजगेन्द्रहारम सदा वसत हृदयारविंदे भव भवानी सहित नमा आरार्थिक्यम समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम आचमनीय समर्पयामी श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम पुष्पाजलि गुरूर ब्रह्मा गुरूर विष्णु 
गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम अखंडमंडलाकार व्याप्त ये नाचराचर तत्पद दर्शित ये नस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री ब्रह्मानंद परम सुखद ज्ञानमूर्ति विश्वातीत गगन सदृश तत्वस्यादिलक्ष्यम एक विमलमचल सर्वधी साक्षिभूत भावातीत त्रिगुण सहित सद्गुरू तम नमा अज्ञानतिरांध्य ज्ञाजनशलाखया चक्षुन्मील येन तस्म श्री गुरव नम पुष्पाजलि समर्पया श्री श्री गुरुचरण कमलेभ्यो नम Jai Guru Dev happy birthday to everybody Yes Saran Sachidananda Guru, 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 Sachidananda Guru,
Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to everyone. Have a great year. This year will be so great for everyone. Thank you, Didi. Didi, two questions that we end this uh, thing with. What is Gurudev for you? What is he not? What is he not? I mean, you can't put in words what he is for you. Everything. He's not something different for me. He's me only. Or I'm him. It doesn't matter one way or the other. This. He's not something for me. He's not something else. He's just me. There's so many teachers and volunteers are watching this live now and probably they will watch after many years also. From your experience, what learning you would like to share with them? What learning, what kind, what do you mean? What learning meaning? I mean, what, what one thing that you, you would like them to follow? I am still learning. I can't no, say no. I have learned anything. I am still learning. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you tell me what have I learned, I can't put a label to it. I can't say this is what I've learned. Uh, but what I asked Didi is, what would you like to tell our, our volunteers and teachers that what they should follow? But if I have only not learned, what will I tell? <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, nothing. I'll tell you, don't make it a mental anything that follow this or follow that. Be true to yourself. Be natural. Be true to yourself. And you know, you have God knows after how many lifetimes we have found him. You know, when I first met Gurudev and I came back, I was so afraid to tell my parents I'd found a guru because they were looking for a husband for me. And, uh, but you know, mothers being mothers, they can tell. So he said, you know, Sanita, I'm so happy you have found a guru. Anyone can get a husband, but it takes lifetimes of seeking to find a guru. So the only thing I would tell you is in this lifetime, if you have found a master, you found a guru, you are in a body, human body. He is in a human body. Don't waste it on anything else. Be focused, be one-pointed on him. Because, you know, in this one lifetime, he can give us so much. And it's not about what he can give us or it's not about give and take. It's just about lifting the consciousness. You know, it's just about the very purpose of human existence can be fulfilled with his being here and you recognizing that and devoting every moment of your life to that. This is what I do. Yeah. If Gurudev is now here physically in front of you on his birthday, how would you like to express your gratitude towards him? <laughs> I can't express my gratitude towards him at all. But uh, if he were here right now, I would just fall at his feet. Nothing else. Just 
<laughs> on that note didi thank you very much for this blissful two and a half hours i can't believe that i spoke so much and i can't believe everyone sat through it oh my god thank you everyone for sitting through it <laughs> please bless all these 4500 plus people who are watching and people who came in between and went also but almost 4.5k were like throughout from the beginning till end and please bless all of us jai guru thank Gurudev. you didi jai guru thank happy you. birthday to everybody once happy birthday thank you for doing you know what you're doing is so wonderful to bring so many you know for years and years to come people are going to be watching this and they go to and so many teachers have so many different things to share so you know it's it's just so valuable and so precious what you're doing right now just i hope you continue doing this and i hope maximum people benefit from what you're doing right now yeah it, i think i must have done some good karma that every night i get to sit and listen to everybody's guru story <laughs> and few guru stories also on phone no which sometimes get filtered out <laughs> thank you dude <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, happy birthday and thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Sarang, for thank this you wonderful, so much, wonderful budgets. And yes, tomorrow, nice we should we should actually end with end with something that uh, Sangeeta Didi was saying. You know, a, a budget wrote by Guruji yeah, himself. Why are we singing that? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only one thing. Tomorrow we have on on Guru Dev's birthday. Tomorrow we have Hima Didi who did the part one with us. Hima Parekh and Mehul Parekh Bhaiya is also joining. So 13th May we have Hima Parekh Didi sharing few more of her Guru stories and Mehul Parekh Bhaiya also will be joining us. We just got their confirmation. So all of us, you are watching. You can see the playlist here, tiny dot cc slash Guru stories, and there are so many seniors sharing their experiences. Over to Sarang. <laughs> thank you didi thank you for the wonderful stories that we have heard and thank you for the beautiful singing i am well, just being here you know main ho raha main ho ya soda
was written by gurudev and the song was written by gurudev for those who don't know hmm? yes shall we call it a night now hmm? yes okay good day thank you thank you thank you didi